So this is the FL5 Honda Civic Type R. And quite honestly, I think this is the best hot hatch currently on sale in the US. And I'm not just saying that because I own it. Now that doesn't mean there isn't some really fantastic competition. You have Toyota's GR Corolla and Volkswagen's Golf R, both of them six speed manuals and all wheel drive. However, this car being just front wheel drive, I still think takes the edge. Now the Type R has a two liter inline four cylinder turbo motor with 315 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque. Zero to 60 is close to five seconds. It's a very reliable engine, which is definitely good to have in a car. And it even tops out at 170 miles per hour. Now, one of my most favorite parts with the FL5 Honda Civic Type R is the seats. These front seats are amazing. They are finished in a red micro suede. They have massive bolsters for your legs as well as your torso. To me, I fit like an absolute glove in here. They support your legs very well. You know, at five foot 11, I just fit so well in this car. This completely hugs you like a high performance car. With the GR Corolla, they're sporty seats. Same with the Golf R, but they do not compare to these bucket seats. Now, this may sound stupid, but here's the thing. Whenever you use your car, 100% of the time, you are using your front seats, particularly the driver's seat. So for me, I have found out over the last like 10 years or so, the driver's seat is so important. If I don't feel comfortable in a seat, it ruins the experience of the car. And this car, this is one of the best seats I have ever sat in. And just sitting in it, you feel like you are in a cocoon of a little race car. And I think that right there is one of the big sweet spots to why the Type R trumps the others. Now, another reason is the fact that this gauge cluster is phenomenal. You can see that massive tack right in the center, engine vitals, boost gauge, all sorts of different information. And even the center infotainment screen, you get this R section and you can scroll through all sorts of vitals within the car. So to have a screen like this, it reminds me of my old R35 GTR. You can even get a cool depiction of your car. And as you turn, this car will kind of go left and right a little bit. So the fact that this has that cool of a display is fantastic. On top of that, when you adjust your drive modes, you can go into an individual mode and customize so many aspects of this car. Of course, the engine, you can adjust the throttle tuning, the engine tuning itself. You have steering with three different weights from very light to super heavy. Suspension dampers have three settings as well. It does have some fake interior engine sounds, kind of a gimmick, but kind of cool. And then of course, rev matching and then the gauge cluster as well. You can get the normal one along with the super cool one. So the fact that this car has that level of customization in a 40 something thousand dollar car, I think that is something to love. And of course we have a beautiful manual transmission that is incredibly notchy and very fun to drive. Now, another big thing about a hot hatch is the fact that it needs to be pretty darn useful. Now I'm five foot 11 sitting behind my driver's seat the way I like it. And honestly, I sit here perfectly good. I got plenty of headroom, several inches of knee room and leg room. Now there's no climate control vents or a center armrest, but the fact that you genuinely have good space in the back of this Civic hatchback, it makes for a very practical car. Armrests are nice, plenty of glass all throughout it. And you even get to see the nice micro suede on the back side of the seats and type R. You still get the red seat belts. However, you just get the basic black fabric with red stitching. Maybe the red would have been too much since we even have red carpeting, but this car is super practical. Now it wouldn't be a hot hatch without talking about the hatchback itself. Now on the Type R's key fob, you got your lock and unlock button. There is a trunk button as well. Now this is kind of interesting. This button is next to useless. So with the car locked, if I go ahead and press that button, you can see the light turn on. That unlocks the hatch to where I can obviously open it up. But the silly part is if I go ahead and lock the car again with it in my pocket. All I have to do is grab it anyways, it unlocks. So there is no point to even use the key fob button to gain access. Nonetheless though, it's super easy to gain access and you have so much space. There's even a little privacy cover. I mean, this is a practical car, kind of like an SUV and yet it's a Honda Civic. So the fact that a Civic is this big back here is super cool. With that, you can pop down these seats and genuinely fit back here. If you wanna go camping and sleep in this car, Honestly, I don't think you'd have an issue. And if you want to get some bikes, go golfing, go snowboarding in the mountains, this Civic Type R is incredibly practical. Now, before we take this thing for a spin, let's talk about exterior styling. 
So the FK8 was the first generation Type R that we saw here in the USA. The FL5 to me looks 10 times better. It's not quite overdone like the previous generation. This looks so clean. I'm not even a Honda fan, especially not really a Civic fan, but the Type R is so darn clean looking. You have these wide front fenders, this wider front bumper, and it just has somewhat of a wide body appearance. Very mature yet aggressive front bumper, functional heat extraction vent in the hood. It just comes together so darn well. We even have Brembo brakes up front with two-piece ventilated rotors, gorgeous set of matte black 19-inch wheels, and there's even a functional vent behind this wheel arch to allow the pressurized air to escape. And then at the side profile, we have really good proportions all around. I love the blacked out design for the windows, and you can get a good silhouette of the car with that massive rear wing. Proportions are fantastic. If I get out of the frame, you can tell it just comes together in a super sporty manner. Sharp body line throughout the side profile. You got even an aggressive lower side skirt, and then that all ties in together with the LED lighting and then the more aggressive design for the whole lower section of this car. And then in back, you got more aggressive lines. I like how the taillights are all connected. Of course, red for all the Honda badges, the Type R logo as well. Massive rear diffuser with a triple exhaust tip. Cool design, a little gimmicky. I mean, the GR Corolla has that as well, but it does fit the style quite nicely. The back side of the wing fits really nicely and it's high enough to actually not hinder any visibility. But for a Honda Civic, kind of the best Civic they've ever made, it just comes together and it's a car you look at and you smile every time. So what is the driving experience like in the Civic Type R? So right now I'm in comfort mode. So of course we have the lightest steering, the softest suspension, the engine has toned down, the fake engine sounds are basically turned off. This to me, honestly, is a fantastic daily. Like I mentioned, I love these seats. I fit so perfectly in them. They're very padded. There's no real adjustments with like lumbar or anything and they're all manual. But when you get it in the perfect spot, I just fit so comfortably. The padding on my back and everything, even the headrest, I could literally sit here for days. Armrests are nice and soft. It's quiet too, fantastic visibility. You know, being a hot hatch, these hatchbacks have a lot of glass. So as a daily, it doesn't feel unrefined or anything like that. Tackling little bumps feels like a typical car. Now, if you turn it up one notch into sport mode, everything gets to the next step up in stiffness and tightness, sharpens the car just up a little bit. And then in my individual, the way I've set it up, everything in race mode. However, I have the soft suspension and the sport steering. And that again reminds me of my GTR that I used to have to where I could put everything in race mode, but keep the suspension nice and soft for the day-to-day -day roads. So to me, it just gives you such a blend. Even if you're just driving conservatively, I mean, you can just have fun cruising. This is nothing hard about being a daily driver. This is your only car. You're not gonna have even the slightest bit of issues. Now, of course, the Golf R is gonna be a super dailyable car. GR Corolla might be a little on the small side, but this car seems to be a really good sweet spot. Now, if we put it into the race mode now, or I guess R mode is what Honda calls it. You have such good linear power. The brakes really bring you to a standstill. And even though it's front wheel drive, those wheels carry you out of every turn. It is so good in handling. It is incredibly flat, so direct. The steering lets you just connect with this car so perfectly. I love how there is just no body roll. Grip is really good too. And these seats, they just cradle you so well. There's no movement. You totally feel connected. The shifter is also just enough amount of notchiness to make you feel like you're in a mechanical car. There's nothing rubbery about it. Clutch has a good amount of weight and you can kind of see that depiction there, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Hardly any torque steer. You really have to think about it to feel it. In normal mode, you feel it a little bit more, but when you're in the race mode, you just don't really think you're in a front wheel drive car. And there's plenty of all wheel drive cars that are similar to these that you feel the torque steer quite a lot. So somehow with their limited slip differential, the way Honda has tuned this car, it just makes you feel like you're in a little race car. It is so much fun to drive. 
I've driven the competition and they're all fine cars. Like I'm not saying they are bad whatsoever. I feel like this just has an edge to where I can drive this side by side with my old Lamborghini, which I love. And I can have just as much fun in this car. And it's almost like you can just kind of have worry-free fun. You know, you got the grip, you can do the day-to-day -day practical stuff. But then when you just want to rip it and have some fun in a little sports car, this thing is where it's at. <laughs> I mean, you get up to speed without thinking. It's fast enough, even in the stock configuration. Don't really dislike anything. It seemed to just have the whole package for a practical, fun sports car. And you get the practicality on top of that. And back to the screens, the fact that you can monitor oil temp, water temp, oil pressure, boost, and all that good stuff, even air intake temperature, those are things that my GTR had. So it's nice to be able to monitor the real important things with your car and do it from a seating position. That is just fabulous. Going back into comfort mode now, the whole thing just tones down. These bumps are now much smoother. The only complaint I would say, the stock wheels, very low profile tire, and you can hear a little bit of the road noise on certain roads, especially if it's a groove road like construction or something, I end up hearing just that vibration sound a little bit. Other than that though, like we're on a smooth road going 45, pretty darn comfortable and smooth. So even though this is just a Honda, it's not a Volkswagen, which is, you know, baby Audi, there's some refinement level to this car. <laughs> I think my favorite thing is just how good it steers and handles. I mean, accelerating around a turn, the wheels just feel like they're on rails. It is truly a joy to drive. I've owned this now for a little over a week and a half, put about a tank of gas through it, and I've just been ripping on it every day. And it is just smiles and smiles. Endless fun. I never thought I would have this fun in a Honda. Never really thought I would buy one of these cars, but it just worked out to be the perfect setup as we have some new projects in our life to work on. But yeah, Honda Civic Type R, the FL5 particularly, gosh, it is nothing but smiles. And the fact that cars like this aren't too crazy fast, at least you don't have that much chances of getting in trouble with those kind of people over there. So hopefully we can keep this thing uh, in the legal speeds and everything, but you can have some crazy fun if you want. This is a track car, an autocross car. When I drive this, I crave going to the mountains now. I crave doing some autocrosses and just experiencing what this hot hatch has to offer. Gives you so much confidence going around the turns. All right, after climbing out of these insane bucket seats, ending thoughts with the FL5 Honda Civic Type R. I think this takes the cake as the coolest hot hatch on sale. The Type R is a super exciting car. It handles amazing. It gives you a thrilling driving experience. There's nothing boring about it. When you look at the Volkswagen Golf R, it's a fantastic car. You know, we used to own the S3. We now own an RS3. The Golf R is basically the baby version of the S3. Great car. Of course, we loved our ownership with that car, but I think the Golf R just doesn't have that extra fun factor to really put a smile on your face. It's a very serious hot hatch. When you look at Toyota's GR Corolla, handles amazing. However, it's a little on the basic side, on the interior, it feels like a Corolla with nicer seats. I feel like Honda really stepped this car up to not just feel like a Honda Civic. This truly feels like a super exciting performance car. That's coming from a person who owns very significantly different cars than this. This kind of reminds me of my R35 GTR with the gauge cluster and all the different driving modes that you're able to change. And coming from the Toyota Supra that I sold to buy this car, you know, this has a flatter handling characteristic, more like a go-kart, less on the luxury side. So I think the Honda Civic Type R FL5 particularly, this thing is where it's at if you're looking for a hot hatch. Despite it being front wheel drive, this thing is smiles for days, got all the practicality, all the fun factor, and yet it can still be a perfect daily. So there are my thoughts on the newest Honda Civic Type R. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for plenty more content, and I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah.